Well, we have two plots and they're both 20 feet by 20 feet. And we have an assortment of vegetables and culinary herbs. But what I'm really excited about is that we're growing herbs for the People's Medicine Project, which is a free clinic for people in recovery that is based in Greenfield. So for them, we're growing Tulsi, catnip, and ashwagandha, which are all herbs that help people to relax. Well, I love the Tulsi. It's also called holy basil. It's really fragrant and beautiful. It has these purple spired flowers, and it, like I said, it's a very calming, calming herb. So I'm sharing this plot with another family. I actually, I rode on top of, you know, their plot. So, I mean, this is their plot and we are growing tomatoes, corn, uh, beans. I forgot the species, so don't ask me about the species. Um, bok choy, lettuce, uh, basil, eggplant, we can use eggplant. Um, and one cucumber at the far back, watermelons and pumpkins. And I, oh, and they have some different flowers. I plant these are marigolds, but I don't think they're popping up. Yeah. Well, we're just offering up to the community. So people that we know that appreciate fresh vegetables and people in need. At, we need to do a little bit more connecting with some of the food pantries and figure out how that works. But like I said, the herbs are going to the People's Medicine Project for people in recovery and that feels really especially purposeful. And some of it we eat and enjoy. Oh, no, you eat them. They just make salads or stir fry out of them. Yeah. I just wanted to be more in touch with nature. You know, it's really easy to get distracted with uh, computer screens and just a lot of abstractions and it was nice to be out in the field, it's like, you know, feeling the plants and you know, doing something more tangible. It just feels really good to help people connect to the land and, and think more about the sources where our food comes from. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, I, I wish everybody knew how to grow food and I just try to keep supporting that in all different kinds of ways, especially teaching our children how to do that is really important to me that they understand that really it all comes down to healthy soil and that's the mothers out front um, the project that we're working on is called healthy soil livable climate and um, people are learning more and more in this community about keeping the carbon in the ground and that healthy food comes from healthy soil and it's all part of a system yeah you know especially if you live in a place without a garden or if you don't have a yard i think it's just a really great place to be and you also meet other people and uh, it's a really you know just a nice area to be in so i think yeah i think it's just a really beneficial program oh definitely yeah i mean just gardening keeps me feeling more connected to the land and thinking about the source of my food and i always feel better in the summer from eating fresh out of the garden Four thirty every Saturday and anyone can show up and join us. <laughs>